Ooh, what is up, you guys? And of course, welcome to another MMBA battle, of course, with your truly, the Scarender. And we are facing this time the Los Angeles Landers or uh, Mustang or Sky Gaming 132. Now, going into this battle, and before I actually go over my team, as you guys can see on the screen, of course, is on the opposite side of the field. Um, he had both Landers and the Torrent Greninja, which means I decided to design a run around them because they're actually doing really well against me. One for all that definitely does well is, uh, well, a scoffed Excadrill. But seeing that I actually have, uh, of course, Mega Metagross in my team, or I don't have it, but it's a part of my roster. So knowing that, we actually are facing a team here which is not ready for that, at least so I think. But um, yeah, besides, besides that, I actually decided to bring something very, very different. And, um, yeah, I'm actually feeling pretty proud about this team. I have a Manetra K, which of course is a Salt Vested, uh, to be able to deal with Greninja, and actually K with it in return. Uh, it should have been modest to this battle, it's actually timid, which is unfortunate. I was not actually prepared for, of course, battle on uh, Showdown. Then we have a Salt Vest Latios. Yes, a Salt Vest Latios, a really, really stupid set. But its only purpose with this game was if I faced, um, a Boomer Specs, um, Explode, which I'm, I am doing, uh, I at least have a chance to come in on it, survive it, and retaliate and get it down to HP because I can definitely, with pretty much any of my mon, to it KO it, and I'm naturally faster with every mo of my mon, really. But um, I have no position of switching in and out on it because it actually hurts so many what comes in. It's a superb wall breaker, it's simple as that. Uh, Tauros uh, with, uh, I do believe, Flamethrower, same set I had against Poker Trip actually in the VPL, so that's actually kind of cool. Um, nothing to it here, really. It has, uh, do you believe, uh, was it Rock Climb? And then we have Sin Hitbutt, Earthquake, and, um, uh, Flamethrower, I think, something like that. And, uh, then we have Heracross with Natural Gift of Makai Berry to be able to actually use Nature Gifts of a Fire. And it has SD Close coming with a Mega Horn because it hits the team neutrally. And, uh, I actually realized that Vivlo kind of wall this set, which is kind of, Kind of scary, but at least I have something to hit it super effectively and pretty much kill it. Yellow is a defensive set, able to take any kind of damage from Scissor and retaliate with Will Wisp, and you can deal well with Kelio. Like, that's the pure percent Yellow Sand is here in the first place. And Scoffed Entei, which is able to outspeed anything on its team, and uh, should have had Bulldoze for this game, doesn't have it. And uh, that's really unfortunate because I decided the team, of course, battle on Wi-Fi battle, but he wanted last second to go on showdown and I just threw the team together. Uh, so any last like edits just wasn't happened, sadly. But with all that said, let's go into the match. So he gonna decide to lead with Keldio as uh, I, of course, gonna lead with my Manetric. Now from this position, there is really nothing going on. Uh, I'm gonna say and go for Thunderbolt. If I'm modest, I'm going to KO, which I am not, of course. And um, that's unfortunate as he goes for Ice Wind, which really doesn't do a whole lot of damage. And he actually is Life Orb. And T-Bolt just fails to kill. And seeing that damage, I just knew that, alright, this time it's going to go for either Secret Sword or Scald. Secret Sword is the better because he obviously already knows that I'm Assault Vested. So with that said, we're just going to um, keep going. I'm actually just going to lower the volume from the real music. So, I'm gonna switch in Jelly Sins, and this was a mixed bag, really, because I do decide he had to go for a Will-O-Wisp, being, of course, that, um, if I go for a Will-O-Wisp, at least, um, anything that comes in and switching is going to die. I mean, he see definitely on my team, I don't have any Stealth Rock, which means he can keep his Kelly alive. Well, he doesn't do that, he goes directly for Hidden Power Electric, which does a lot of damage to me, and, uh, like I said, I went for Will-O-Wisp. I could have gone for Recover, truly, but I didn't do it. And yeah, I was really sure I was going to actually try to uh, save his, um, to save it really has his Kelly, which it doesn't do. Which is good. Kelly out of the way means that, uh, well, pretty much I can actually kind of sweep with almost every of my mind. Like, Kelly is probably the only thing that really stops me from doing just so. Now, here comes Explorer. Like I said here, Assault with Lodios is the switch in here. And uh, I don't take it as well as I was kind of hoping for. And that's because of one thing. I am not built like I built it on, of course, Wi-Fi. I'm supposed to take 50% from this and actually survive two of these, which I aren't doing, but that's okay. At least without speed, and Dragon Ball does a really good chunk of damage as um, we actually this time going to go for 
uh, Tauros, no Entei. And Entei can just go for uh, Sacred Fire, he kills anything really, and he's risking a burn on everything on his team. Um, so he's gonna bring in Aggro now, and here's the thing here. I really don't just yet want to gamble on this, because let's face it, if he is scoffed, then I might as well be faster, but he's going to possibly kill me, and um, that's a gamble I won't really take. Uh, so I'm just going to go for Jelly Sand, actually sacking it off, uh, as he misses the head smash, and uh, this time he's actually going to switch out, not want to stay in, which I'm having to believe is probably banded as the Willow is going to land on Rose Raid, now, I really have nothing to switch in on this guy. I really, really, really don't. So all I can do is bring him a net trick, which of course, with a soul vest, we're actually going to be able to take the slush bomb, but get poisoned. So boom, there's some hacks for you. As I'm just going to bring Tauros and send him, but it's an easy one hit KO here. And that's going to work just fine. And after this, he's going to send on Scissor. And uh, yeah, Scissor can't KO me from this range. It simply can't. And flamethrowers are easily over 50% as he goes for the knockoff, which is unfortunate. But at the same time, I am not able to TP to it KO, but it's pretty darn close to as I go for another flamethrower and take out the scissor. Now, here's the thing as of right now, of course, I'm gonna send in Vivlion. I know for sure this thing must be sashed. There was no way he's gonna play this thing differently. So I'm just gonna go for um, flamethrower, just force it down. Below Sash. If he goes to Quiver Dan, that's fine because I have extreme speed on, of course, Entei. So I don't really have to worry about it. As um, he goes to the Quiver Dance, nothing to it. And um, Bug Buzz will easily kill me. Like, there is nothing I can say there. Uh, so after this, I'm just going to bring Entei and uh, go for extreme speed. Like, boom, bada, boom. That's how we do it. And here's the thing. Like, the last matchup now is Agron, and I simply win from this matchup. There is no way he's gonna win this game. But I realize, oh shit, I don't have Bulldoze. So that, that's bad. I need to sack Jellicent and then bring Heracross, of course, to go close combat to wrap up the game. I misclicked and pressed Heracross instead. And Head Smash, of course, kills him. So I'm like, oh no. Because this means one thing. If I don't burn this guy, since I don't have Bulldoze, if I don't burn him, I'm going to lose the game. Like, there is nothing to it. I will just lose, because he could hit me his head smash, sure, surely, but, you know, that's stuff you don't want to bank on. So, I am forced to go to my poor, 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 poor Entei, hoping that the Sacred Fire burns, and, uh, actually, the left door still does so much damage. Fair enough. Follows banned. So, anyway, I go for Sacred Fire, and what do you know? Boom! We get the burn! We get the so important burn! As, of course, Head Smash will <laughs> force him to kill himself. But there's a 2 of victory in my favor. And, honest to God now, had I not gotten that burn, I would not have won this game. It was simple as that. I actually wanted to switch in Jelly Sand, sack it, go to Heracross, close combat, and wrap up the game. That didn't happen. That truly didn't happen. It was, of course, sturdy and not rocket. Which is probably a mystery on his part, really. But, uh, would you win? I, I feel that I played really, really badly, uh, and I'm typically I play as badly as my set made it out to be. Had I had I had the right team in mind, which I had on my, of course, DS, the game might have looked differently, but I actually like how this game turned out anyway, and I had a lot of fun. So, uh, for everybody who's been watching, this was the game, pretty much. <laughs> I don't like, of course, uploading Wi-Fi on Showdown, because it looks so bad, it looks kind of... Um, kind of bad quality, but you know what it is, what it is, uh, if anything, you know, I had fun, and uh, as always guys, thank you so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you next video, until then guys, take care, bye.